What's going on guys? Um, I got some more mail today. <laughs> so yeah, let's open it up and see what it is. There we go. There's the part number and everything. Got a new axle and it's blue so you guys can only guess which truck it's going on. Bam! So let's get this open and I will show you guys how to install it. Okay guys, we have the package open. Um, so yeah, obviously this is going to be a tutorial on how to install a front axle on your SCX24. Um, the tools you will need are a one that is not, there we go, a 1.3, it is backward, <laughs> a 1.3 um, hex or Allen wrench and you will need your wheel nut um, socket, which is a four millimeter socket. This just so happens to be that size. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so as typical, most parts come with the proper bolts that you will need. So first off, we are going to take off the tires so I'm going to do that and be right back okay guys got the tires off uh, next up we are going to be taking off the front axle so what you are going to have to do is get your steering knuckles off and then take <clears throat> your shock off and then you're going to take your suspension links apart by that screw there and there's one back up in there as well um, they're all the 1.3 hex so to take your steering knuckle off there's a top nut here and a bottom nut there you won't need to take any of your steering linkages off because, yeah, it's it's not going to matter. The, the whole axle is going to come out. So once you get this off and this off, the axle will come off. Nut there for the lower steering link. Same on the other side. Take your shock nut off right there. And, yeah. I will do that and be right back with you. Oh, something I do have to add. Um, you will have to take the upper bolts out for your diff cover. They're back there on top of your differential. Um, this is different, obviously. It's a trio diff cover. But back right there take those two top bolts out because those two bolts hold your steering servo mount on. So yeah, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I forgot what I was actually working on. This does not have to come off right away. You will eventually have to take it off, but um, you don't have to take it off right this second. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep the camera rolling. Because, yeah. Don't really care how long this video is. <laughs> just want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing.
I'm going to take it off just because I don't feel like fishing my servo wire off because mine is extremely longer than that of stock because I moved my ESC to the back of the truck so yeah I don't feel like unplugging it and fishing it off through the truck to get it out so I'm just going to take the servo mount off along with the steering servo and it's being kind of retarded right now there and make sure that you guys keep track of which bolts go where um and if you have aftermarket uh, steering knuckles make sure you don't lose your little brass bushings that go on the uh, bolts and then now i'm taking the bottom suspension link off there's one and you don't have to really worry about your drive shaft because it just comes apart it's a two-part drive shaft and mine already fell out as you can see that's the upper part of the drive shaft go it should pop right out now take my steering servo mount out and there we have it there is your front axle and the truck can go to the side for now and there we go so now what we have to do is just take your drive shaft off with this screw here you guys can see that take that off make sure you don't lose the screw put that up there pull your drive shaft off and now <clears throat> most aftermarket uh, axles they don't come with anything internal so you have to take your diff cover and that's just four additional screws because if you're like me you already took the top ones off so just go ahead and remove the rest of them <clears throat> If you want, you can go ahead and pull out your actual shafts. They're both the same size, same length, so it doesn't really matter which side goes where. That's just your inner bushing, which you're also going to have to pull out. There's another one right here. Go ahead and gently pry that out. Set that up there. Finish taking your diff cover bolts out. Put that up there. These here are the top ones that hold your servo mount in. This is stuck on there pretty good. All right, I'm gonna pause it and get that off. Okay, that was pretty simple. I just forgot to take one of the screws out. <laughs> so that comes out there. 
Do not lose your bearing that's in your diff cover. Set that aside. Take your new diff cover off. Take your worm gear here. Place that in your new one. Just like that. And then you're going to take your other gear out like that. Your bearings, your inner bearings. Slide those in. Oops. Just like that. And take your gear and slide it in between them and there you go. <clears throat> now you can take your axle shafts and slide them in. You may have to twist them a little bit to get them to slide into that brass gear in there. I think I'm going to put the bearing in first. Okay, apparently this is gonna be a bear. So I'm going to pause it, get my bearings in there, and then be right back. Okay, got my bearings in. I went ahead and slid my axle shaft in this side. Now I'm gonna slide this one into the other side. Just like that. And there we have it. So I am not going to use this blue diff cover, oops. I'm not gonna use this blue diff cover just because I think it'll be just too much blue. And I really like these trio diff covers. Um, they got a fair amount of weight to them. So I'm going to stick this on. And that will go on just like your other one, your stock one, just like that. And I'm going to stick these four screws in and be right back. Okay, I got those four screws in. And now we are going to attach the drive shaft back to it. And if you notice, it can only go on one way. See how it's got like a half moon, half circle shape to it? So you just line that up like that. And then you get your screw back, which is the smallest screw that we have taken out so far next to your steering knuckle. Your steering knuckle screws are the same size, but mine are significantly different. Hers might not be. Um, but yeah, yours are probably, <clears throat> your steering knuckles for stock are probably this length, but they will look like this the one for your drive shaft, so it doesn't really matter which one goes where. So, snug that up, don't over tighten. And that's that. Now we shall stick it back on the truck. So, get the truck back over here. that body up and take your servo mount with all your other stuff if you've done it the way I've done it pop your 
your servo mount back in there. screws and the bunch of screws we've taken out go in here. Again, I've said it in the numerous videos, back thread a little bit, wait for it to snap in there, and then send her home. Snug it. The upper link back in. And those are held in with these three screws. All three screws for the suspension links are the same size, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so three screws here and then your outer screws. Oh, wow. That is kind of cool. There's multiple mounting points on this axle for your steering link. That is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put them in the upper ones. Um, your axle, nine times out of ten, or chances are that it's only going to have one, but that's where you yeah, just mount your steering link back in there like that, and it looks like there's multiple mounting points for the shock too, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and attach these three steering links, or suspension links, and be right back. Okay guys, we have all the suspension linkages attached. Um, got the drive shaft back in. What I did is before I attached the bottom links, I finagled the drive shaft back together. Um, just kind of slid it into itself. Slide the male in into the female upper link for the drive shaft. And then I went and installed my bolts and lower suspension links. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my shocks and I'm going to put them in the forward hole. Um, your axles may only have one hole up here. So yeah, I will do that and get right back to you. Okay, got my shocks mounted back up there. Next step is going to be reattaching your steering knuckles. Um, that can be kind of tricky. You got to make sure you line up the slotted part of this inner part of your uh, axle shaft for, yeah, there's a slot in there. You just got to make sure 
that you line that up. You see that slot right there? Kind of moving around. You gotta line that up with the pins on your axle shaft. So, we shall stick it on there. Like so. Just like that, guys. Let's zoom in. There we go. See that pin sticking out there? There's a little slot you gotta put that in. And now you can get your bolts for your steering knuckle. Um, if you have aftermarket ones, again, make sure you didn't lose your little brass collars that go around your bolts. Um, those little guys. And then you're going to take your bolt. Stick that on there like that. Just like that. And then you're going to try to get it in there. Just like that. Again, back thread just a little bit and you'll hear it kind of, or feel it kind of falling. There it goes. Nope. Maybe it's not lined up right. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna figure out what's going on and then get back with you. Okay, I'm back. I just had to push my uh, steering knuckle on to the axle a little further. Line up the hole. Stick that in there like that. See it kind of fall in there again? Bam. Again, just snug it. We'll go ahead and do the other top one. Line those grooves up. Just like that. Make sure that the holes are lined up this time. Yep. Can see it in there. See, right there. Dun, 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 dun. Grab my other brass collar and bolt. Stick that down. Oop, you guys can't see it. Stick that down in there. thread here and there's that and now we shall do the bottom ones
last one. Come on, stupid camera's not focusing. There we go. <laughs> that was my washer. to do is put the tires back on so my tires they're actually the stock tires from a panda hobbies uh, power wagon I have so the little plastic inserts get stuck in there all the time so I've gotten all kinds of freaking parts laying around so I stuck some spare wheel hexes on there to keep these little pins from falling out you do not want to lose those so now we can slide these tires back on, just like that. Get my wheel nut with my four millimeter socket. Go ahead and start it. I don't think you guys need to watch this. It might take me a little bit. All right. Be right back. All right, guys, the tires are on. Snug this thing down here. Dun, 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 dun. There we go, all loose and nice. Look at that, that looks pretty sharp. Yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. Alright guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit that subscribe button and we will talk.